This video is going to be on how to strike the ball in there or how to volley the soccer ball. Because for attackers, this is going to be very important because some of the balls that you get won't always be on the ground. They'll be bouncy or completely in the air. So I'm going to be teaching you how to strike it completely and a little thing that you can practice at the end to improve your volleys. Stay tuned for that and I'll talk in. Okay guys, your first step is planting your foot and this part of your volley will take some repetition because every ball comes at different speeds, different angles, and different heights. So you won't know exactly when to plant your foot for every single ball. But that where, that's where repetition comes in to know when to. But when you're striking a ball, most times than not, when you're trying to strike a ball, your planted foot has a big plan, especially in volleys. Because wherever you plant your foot is where your whole body is going to face. So if you're going to the right, you can't plant your foot all the way to the left and it's pointing to the left because then you're going to have to strike it like that in order for it to go to the right. And if you're trying to go to the left, you can't plant your foot looking at, to make it look at the right because then your whole body's going to have to go. And we like to call that uh, side volley, but that takes a lot of work. And with, even with the side volley, your planted foot doesn't go to the wrong way. You want to go and face it in the right way. And again, repetize this as much as possible. And you might need to repetize all of these steps that I'm giving to you to fully get the right technique to get the power and accuracy that you want. That's my first step for you. And I'll pick my second one. All right, guys, my second step for you is your body position. This is actually very important because your body position dictates your balance in a ball. So you want to have your chest and up bent over and you want to have your planted foot bent a little bit so your planted foot needs to get bent a little bit because when you're striking that ball if it's fully up you could injure your knee or you could lose your balance because when you have a springy knee that's kind of bent a little bit you have better balance instead of standing up straight and trying to strike also you want to have your body your top half of your body of your chest you want to have it bent down a little bit. This is because if you go like this, you can, you t people who stand up straight tend to either go and skyrocket it over the bar or lean, lean even farther and skyrocket it higher in over the bar. So make sure that when you lean under, it helps you get onto the bar instead of under the bar. So when you're striking it, make sure to keep chest down and knee bent. This will give you all the balance and the right posture that you need when striking the ball. That is my second tip for you. Now let's get to my third tip, which is, which is your actual strike. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure this is the one you've been waiting for, your actual strike. And your strike, this fit will be a little bit longer because there's a few things that really go in to getting a good strike on the ball. So, first things first, this goes for even a strike on the ground. Your foot has to be locked. And what I mean by this is when you take that shot, you need to be able to lock your ankle in place. And what, I'm showing it on the screen what it actually is. So when you lock your ankle, you basically push it down, which locks it into its place so that you can strike with your legs. Now, the second thing you need to do when striking the ball, don't go for a side ball, which is that. You want to more so go for a regular ball, since I'm guessing most of you are beginners and you are trying to learn, I recommend going to start like that, where when you're striking, your whole body is facing straight and you're going, instead of facing a little here for a side ball and hitting it in. And also, when you're taking the shot, when going straight on a ball, let's say, you're getting a ball in from the right and you want to go to the left. So when you strike, your body is going to have to, when you're about to strike the ball, turn and then your follow through will point exactly to where you want to go. And that's the biggest part of your volley strike for beginners. You want to make sure that when you strike, your follow through is leading directly to the point you want the ball to hit. Because if you hold on to it too much and your follow through goes a little wide, your ball, the way 
way you're gonna get the ball that might be messed up, and it's gonna go a little wide or a little up, a little to the side, wherever you don't want it to go, it's most likely gonna go there. So make sure your ball is exactly where you want to go. And also lock your angles so that it can't go anywhere, and you'll get full power on the shot. Now let's get into the thing that'll help your ball is tremendously. All right, guys, so this is a sort of drill. What you do is I recommend 1,000% getting parents' approval before doing this because you might need a wall and if you can't find one, you might need to use your own house and wall. But basically, you find a wall and if it's brick perfect, if it's not, uh, it's still going to be okay, but get parents' permission. And what you do here is you go and since we're using the first technique that you guys want to learn, one where we lock angle, you're just going straight up. All right, guys, then what you do simply is you hit the ball at the wall at the symbol form, which is, again, striking like that. So you go in, hit it, catch, and you repeat that. And then also, once you get good, you can go here, here, which basically is going without catching. And once you get really good, you can start hitting it from side to side to improve your accuracy going from right to left and left to right. So, that is all I have for you guys for today. And let's go to the outro. I hope you guys loved this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified with my latest posts. And I'll see you next time.